So now what I'm going to do is I want to switch out the port and I want to now show you guys how the 180 dome port works and how this attaches to the front of the camera. Let's just say I'm using a traditional DSLR just for time's sake and not having to take apart that whole other camera that I just built. I'm going to use an older style camera here, the Nikon D600. It actually has a square eyepiece. So I'm going to be using a back port that has a square eyepiece that threads right on top of the back of the camera snugs in nice and tight back there. Now the lens I shoot primarily all my underwater split shots with is a 14 to 24 f 2.8 Nikkor lens. I have a little tape on here just because I like to uh, make sure that when I put the ring on it's nice and snug. Get this lens onto the camera. All right so this is what I shoot the majority of my underwater stuff with. How do I make this camera here fit with the 180 dome port system, the back cover? Let's get out a silicone case out of my awesome mesh cover. Highly re recommend buying mesh covers from Amazon or wherever you can. Helps the cover breathe. Now the other thing you need for this, and it actually comes with the 180 dome port, is these two keys. So these two keys here, little notches in it. And this is what helps you snug up the port onto your lens. Gets it all airtight. Let's start. So first things first, we're gonna pull that cover over just like last time. The difference, I'm gonna take apart this dome port real quick. So you can see, I kind of have all the attachments. I leave them all in here. And the reason why I do that is so uh, it's all together and it's ready for me when I uh, am ready to go out on my shoot. So it's all just stores together, which is super nice. So there's a couple different attachments for this. Seems like a lot, but it, it really isn't. In the grand scheme of things, it's really not a lot. As you can see, I'm using a camera that has a built-on lens hood. So if you have a lens that has a built-on lens hood, Outtex makes a bracket that you can slide over and it allows you to attach the system to it. This is what I use. If you don't have a bracket and you do have a front thread, they also have an adapted bracket that threads onto your lens that you can use that 180 dome port with. So that is super handy. Get the camera all situated here. So you will need a Allen key and then your two tools here that come with the port to get this nice and snug. So one thing you wanna keep in mind is a couple pieces have to go on first. The very last piece that's up against the top of your dome port to seal it is going to be the first piece you drop on. So just keep that in mind. The last piece that you will be tightening is the first piece you drop on and you'll, you'll see why. So drop it on, super easy. It's on there, just let it sit there. You don't have to do anything with it, just let it sit. The second thing you're going to do, you're gonna attach your brackets. I've tested it, I have attached my bracket kind of upside down and I've attached my bracket right side up. Piece back and forth to different sides. I now have it so it sits on top of my tripod collar like this. And the reason why I did that is because I just want that um, last dome port to be as close to my lens as possible. So I flipped this metal bracket from this side here to this side. You just put the bracket on top of your camera. So you get an Allen key that actually fits and then tighten it. Don't tighten it to the point where you feel like you're gonna break your camera. You know, you just have to judge what works best on this Nikon lens. You can line it up really nice and easy. I get it nice and tight on there, so it's not gonna move. The next thing you're now gonna do is just like we did on the 120 port, we're gonna pull the Outtex cover onto the lip of the first attachment. Then we're gonna seal it down. We'll put the dome port on and then we'll seal it up. And there's two brackets here. One goes on top, one screws on, on over it to snug it up. I mean, super simple. Let's thread it down. And as you notice, there's notches in this one and that's what this tool comes in to play. Be very careful. This is uh, metal, so you don't want to over torque it or break off the, the nodules of... Right, so now those two plates are flush with each other. I know I have a really good seal going. Just to show you again, these two plates here, when they become flush, I have a really good seal. As you can see, it's sealed here. So now to attach the dome port, super easy. 
I take the cover that Tex has for this dome port and I put it down on here. So again, this glass port, so I'm not um, messing with it. Now, just to go over this, the glass port has an O-ring here on the inside as a safety net. You don't have to take that O-ring out. You don't have to put lubricant on it. The O-ring just stays in there. And it's again, it's kind of a fail safe. So you just take your camera, point it upside down, drop it right inside, it snugs up. You can hear it fit right into place. Then this first bracket that you dropped on, which is the last bracket that you tighten, now tightens uh, on. So you get it to the point where you've hand tightened it. And after you've hand tightened it, you can take the two tools, put one on the outside, one on the inside, All right? And with your with pressure on one, you don't have to go too hard. Take your time. You kind of snug it down on top, okay? And then you're done. You're done with that front port. So now here's the front port. Beautiful piece of glass, beads water off really nicely. It's great for shooting split photography with this port. The bigger the port, the better you'll get, you'll get for a split shot, underwater and over water. So the last step here, just like on the mirrorless camera, now I'm gonna use this IP system on the D600. So whatever camera you're using, keep in mind you can order specifically for the eyepiece you have, or you buy that um, type of port. And actually the one I'm using on the mirrorless camera, I also use on this Nikon D600. Snug this down, nice and tight. Always check your ports, always check your seals. I know I keep saying that over and over again, but I mean it. So here you go. Your camera is now waterproof. It is sealed, it is protected. You can dive in this. You can swim with this. You can just use it for weather protection or water protection. Um, you're all sealed up.